really, we're just going to so turn, just turn it over, over and yeah. see if we've got it. Over. Over. <laughs> I remember that sound. Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video, and I am back down at Day and White's. And earlier than I expected, we think it's three weeks since I was last here, because the Zagato has come on in huge steps since I was last here. Engine obviously went in on the last one. This video, the hope is that we'll have an engine start, but there's a whole lot more to look at. Brakes are in, bit of his interior has gone in, all sorts of things to look around. So, without any, I'm going to go behind the camera as normal, and I'm going to see what we've been up to and see if this engine starts. Good to see you again, Gordon. Mike, yeah. you've been busy. All sorts of things have gone on this car yeah. since I was last well, here. Once the subframe went in, we thought, let's just try and tie this up as sort of swiftly as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah, radiator, cooling, hoses, all gone in, braking system, servo. Yeah. Um, and obviously, the fuel lines have come. All sorts. In, you were saying horn as well, isn't it? Yeah, horn, we got the original presser. horn regulator. It was actually a, an extra, an optional extra to get the air horns. Um, same as the Maserati, of course. Yeah. And then, uh, so we managed to sort of locate them. They've got in all nicely. Um, fuel pressure regulator tied in. I'll come and around. We did. Yeah, if you come around here. Yeah. Um, we have actually, for now, kept the fuel pump on, as we said, as a backup. It can come off yes. if we need to. Yes, on the engine there. The electric, the facet pump, as close to the tank as possible. Um, but yeah, we'll go up. We'll show you underneath. Yeah. And see how that is. What and. What happened to the server? I can't remember the history of that. What's, is that new? It again, it was, we saw the mass and uh, had, uh, it was failing and leaking into the servo assembly right. while it's off on these parts retainable we've obviously replaced. Um, all the wiper assemblies now. Oh in, yes, it's got to wrestle with the wipers. Tight. Yes, I can't things. imagine trying to do that. Yeah, yeah no, so that's all in and refurbed and all working. And this, this Operation, is a all the heat fan. Fans yeah. are checked. Cooling fans been apart as well. Check that to make sure that's all on. Oh, okay. Fan switch. And that is a trick radiator, isn't it? I it is full flow red. Um, yeah, it's all nice and tight, obviously, with those carbs. We've got to do a bit of fettling. It looks to bring very down. tight to me. It if is at the moment. It's a bit proud as well. Is that going to fit in the bonnet? We won't know we'll until we'll the bonnet. Certainly make appears. sure that it is adjusted accordingly for that bonnet to clear. But it is. it all looks quite tight and it is, does get very much like that. Yeah. Um, well, that's because these carbs are doing the Weber 45s, aren't yes, they? Yes, that's so correct. That's Ooh, that's correct. When it, as soon as the webbers are put on, it all sort of changes everything because the electric manifold's got to be changed. Um, yeah. And of course, it affects the whole sort of where, how the engine sits. Not the engine sits, the carbs sit. Um, but yeah. Good. And then in, I'm trying to think what's to here. You've all the brakes being plumbed in. Yeah, the brakes are all plumbed in now. We have the hoses are all on, pipes are all done. Um, a couple of people did point out quickly a bit of a subframe issue. Yes. Which, we've had, we've which yeah, we spot, I hadn't spotted it because it'd been yeah. on the floor forever. So, yeah, there, we've, we've replaced this, haven't we? Yeah, it was. It had some sort of inferior welding done. We went over that, took it off, and addressed it properly. Yeah, that's, so, that's it makes good. it a lot better. And then inside, well, all the clocks, all the glass has been out, cleaned all the glass up, um, checked the oil temperature switch. Oh, so yeah, see if I have to have make sure that will work. Yeah. Um, or obviously, the wiper stalks, indicator stalks, again off, cleaned, checked. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and bulbs replaced just while it's all off to make sure it's operational. The heat event as well, as well, oh, which yes. is all found with a little I bit of mention of tape, another one. Well makes it a bit better yeah. gear levers all in handbrake assemblies yeah. all on um and now you've got a handbrake to work yeah throttle pedal yeah. well your old throttle pedal was a little bit um it's a bit sad so we thought the last thing what you do is your throttle pedal to That's come off not great <laughs> no. what's it meant to do so it's meant to have a pivot there and they've glued it, it is off. yeah they basically glued this to try and reinforce yeah, it um but that wasn't gonna last long at all right so and that. yeah, that's got new roller bearings on it roller it bearings work. at the bottom yeah no so as it slides up and down this actually oh there more oh right okay good around Fuel the tanks all in there oh, around yeah, the back there it is. um 38 liters super carburetor so it wants yeah five yeah. Star. yeah and again we've got a new rubbers addressed in here oh yeah that's it better that's nice Tanks all done. Tanks all done. And the adjustable for the tailgates. The crazy all thing we've heard. Yeah. Oh, oh right, the motor's there. there. Working. It's it's really really we ought yeah. to just jack it up and see what's underneath. Yeah. Right. Exhaust is on. Yeah, so exhaust is all on, obviously tied up. Um, cooling system in. Oh, yeah. Pipes are all on. Um, What's this that's for drainage. Here? What's this? That's right. the drain plug for it. And then above this, we've got oblique nipple as well. 
to be drain made. plug for what? Sorry, that's the, the cooling system drain. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, so it's got a smaller, it. right? A smaller pipe. I'm trying yeah. to think. What's, what's that going to on the? You know, it comes up, goes round to the heating system. Oh, so the heater system. It comes system. off the rad, right. off the rad. This is where you drain it from. Again, oh, nice okay. little touch, really. Yeah. And then we walk down. You've got yeah. So the fuel lines, the original ones. They still want to put plastic ones on. Yeah. So we'll have to replace it with copper ones. Yeah. Better. It's all systems on. This is part of the original system you had on it. Right. Um, which we cleaned up a little bit. Obviously, new hangers. Yeah. You're just saying here, this is the wrong... Well, well this is coming off the manifold at this that's diameter. That's right. That's right. So your original system is actually narrower than the original system that would have gone on it. Right. Um, we have it's accepted it, which is fine. Yeah. But we have the option after it's running and see how it is to put a bigger... It should go on the outside of this rather than on the inside. Yeah. So the MSF yeah. one they make does actually go over this one. How odd. Right. Um, okay. Which we've got, but the back box isn't quite as nice. So we'll run it yeah. with this and see how and it, see how it, it looks. performs. And we can always... Yeah. So from there. I'm just looking at a nice new handbrake as well. Yeah, new handbrake came. The handbrake's <laughs> going to work. Yeah. The old handbrake yeah. seized. Yes. Inside, so that, that's all operational now. Yeah. There's, um, I can see a pump. Yeah, so, so that's where you fuel pump. The, yeah, it's as close to tank as possible, really. Um, and again, you make sure you've got to make sure it's clear of everything. Okay. Um, that looks good. And then yeah, compensators all plugged in as well now. The brake compensator. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it's looking at this. So tell me, this. I'm looking at this. Is this funny lever yeah, here? That's right. That so has a funny carved. thing going off there yeah. into it goes to the brake thing. compensator, and as the brake compensator turns yeah. inside here, I won't take it off because it won't go back on again. Yeah. It then pulls on a pushes on a pivot, then obviously adapts the amount of uh, the ratio of, of the actual braking system, the hydraulic fluid coming through it. So when you when you're heavy on the brakes, nose down on the back, well, that, it comes up. that knows that it's got not a lot of pressure on the rear yeah. wheels, therefore reduces the brake yeah. pressure on the. Really yeah, and then great. likewise, if you've got a lot of weight in the car, and then oh, it allows more oh, right. to go to the I back. Didn't, I didn't realise it had that. I yeah. often looked at that strange thing on yeah. the back. That's what that is. Yeah, what a clever car. Yeah. Well, we've, we're sort of there. So mm. for the main event today, then, is to... Yeah. Has it got fuel in it? Fuel's in it. Four gallons of fuel. Right. The, um, although I should say litres. But yeah, fuel's in it. Yeah. Just fuel pump, fuel pressure comes up. You see, a um, little bit of fat. The carbs haven't been used for a long time, so we've got we have no going. idea on these carburetors. No, so let's yeah, let's put it down and yeah, see what happens. I suppose <laughs> after that, I know engine start is always a very nervous time. We just don't know, do we? On, on the XJ Coupe, when we did that, we had an ignition issue. This is a new distributor as well on here, isn't there? Yeah, obvious checks, fuel pressure, oil pressure. Make sure that's okay. The Spark, we've got the one, two, three distributor, so it's electronic ignition, so they're pretty reliable. Don't really issue yeah. on that size. The ignition side should be fine. It's really to see what those carbs do and the weapons from there. But yeah. we'll, get, um, we'll turn it over a few times, get the oil pressure up, see how right. it is. Right, spin it up to spin get oil bit. pressure. Yeah. So you know, we won't be starting it straight away. Yeah, the carburetors are, well, we don't know on those. I bought them, I think, in 93 second hand. We don't actually know what they're off. I bought it for a Lotus Elan. Yeah, I seem to remember they were Escort, the owner, or where I bought them from, saying they were 1600 Escort, but Lord knows what jets well, we and do, things are. Our car man, it does such a great job with them. Yeah. Um, and so, I, I, you know, certain people you're confident about, and I'm confident about what the work he does, so let's just see how that um, Yes. And these you're saying that these are the short trumpets, aren't they? This is the short trumpets is normally you get the torque at the higher rev range until we do go down the rolling road eventually. We'll leave that as it is. Fuel pressure at three bar, that's what we're working on. Yeah. And the other thing about it, the distributor is all new. Is, this, is it one, two, three? It's a one, two, three distributor. It's, yeah. It is programmable. Um, and we don't like the Bluetooth one because it's just not quite as reliable trying to get a Bluetooth. So it's a direct plug in USB. Um, but I'll have, have two maps, two different um, advanced um, retard curves, which you can use. One's going to be sort of for maximum power, and the other one's going to be for sort of just, you know, reliable use, right. um, which you can just do with a switch. Um, right. It's, it's there, you can use it. Yeah. It's one of those sort of things. Do. I'm looking at that radiator, it's stupidly tight, isn't it? Yes, yeah. they are tight. And they often just sort of take an edge off this just to give it a bit more space. Yeah. But that's still got to come down a little bit yet, so we'll see how that sits. Yeah, but for, for today it's fine, isn't yeah. it? Excellent, can't wait.
Are we live? I won't turn it on, but I, I won't start to start it. Oh yes, we have ignition lights, so yeah, we are all ready to go. <gasps> the last time we turned that key. <laughs> A long time ago. God, when it came down here in Feb 21. An engine freshened up. Yeah. Yeah, an engine freshener. They've got a yeah, car freshener. Yeah, we've <laughs> had a couple of weeks. Some, some yes. No, it's been a hell of a journey, but look at it now. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's it, isn't it? We are ready. Just well, really, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to start, obviously. Uh, I've disconnected, obviously, the coil, which means, obviously, yeah, we can turn it, get the oil pressure right. right. So you want me to turn this, and yeah. I'm going to turn you, Yeah, the don't. They make sure the fuel pump. Have you even shown them whether... Yes, it's off, I have. Yeah, but the moment... Yeah, so we don't need that at the moment. We don't need it at the moment. Uh, so really we're just going to so turn, we'll just turn it over, over and yeah. see if we've got it. Over. I remember that sound. First time ignition on then. We don't know, we've got, you know, we've got, wait, otherwise you've got to wait for the fan to come on, is it going to work or not? But that will do, we'll have to get it. We'll do that. There's a, yeah, there's a bit of temperature coming to the rad. Mm. That is extraordinary startup. I know. <laughs> I've never seen one as good as that. I suppose it's just that, but the even, like you're saying, you yeah. know, I would expect it to be a much more... That's yeah, really that's quite. absolutely on four, and by the time you've just, you know, adjusted that... Uh, it does show you that individual carburetors like that. Effect, yeah. And he does know stuff. It's oh, you know, and obviously mark the balance. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Well, no, but we check them with feeder gauges before we fit them and butterflies things like stuff. that to make sure the, yeah. the, the, the butterfly's in the right place. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's, it's done. It lives. But it also sounds nice. It sounds really nice. 
Unbelievable. God, let's do the next bit. Let's put some wheels yeah. on and a seat in and see if it moves. I might as well, as I start it, already. I'll get myself in. <laughs> there we are. You can move the seat. Yeah, no, the seat's good. The clutch is good. Brake. I've got a brake. I've yeah. got a brake. So I'm going to turn the ignition on. Fuel pump is going. So we might as well just start it up. Yeah, yeah right. ready to go down. Right. Oh, it's got a dog leg first, is not it? Yeah. Forget these things. Are we ready to go? Yeah. It moves! Yeah. It moves! say in the journey I yeah pretty emotional he finally reunited with the Zagato I can't thank you enough you know to get to this stage oh, another three weeks could be done <laughs> well there you go I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing the Zagato come back to life engine starts and it works I hope you enjoyed the video have keep watching keep subscribing more videos coming along very soon fantastic good for him how does that enjoy himself? This is a minus face.